the theme of brotherhood, an obsession for Bergoglio, find itself first formulation in Nostra Etate and Dignitatis Humane. The latest encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, is the manifesto of this Masonic vision in which the cry Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité replaced the Gospel for the sake of a unity among men that leaves out God. It is not surprised that the infamous Grand Lodge of Spain, after having warmly congratulated his paladin race to the throne, once again paid homage to Bergoglio with these words. I quote, Pope Francis' latest encyclical shows how far the present Catholic Church is from its previous positions. In Fratelli Tutti, the Pope embraced the universal brotherhood, the great principle of modern Freemasonry. Close the quote. The reaction of the Grand Oriente of Italy is not dissimilar. I quote, These are the principles that Freemasonry has always pursued and guarded for elevation of humanity. Close the quote. For 60 years, we have witnessed the eclipse of the true church by an anti-church that has progressively appropriated her name, occupied the Roman Curia and her dicasteries, dioceses and parishes, seminaries and universities, convents and monasteries. The anti-church has usurp her authority and his minister wear a sacred garment. It uses her prestige and power to appropriate her treasure, assets and finances. Just as happened in nature. This eclipse does not take place all at once. It passed from light to darkness when a celestial body inserts itself between the sun and us. This is a relatively slow but inexorable process in which the moon of the anti-church follows its orbit until it over overlaps the sun, generating a cone or shadow that projects over the earth. We now find ourselves in this doctrinal, moral, liturgical and disciplinary cone of shadow. It is not yet the total eclipse that we see at the end of time under the reign of the Antichrist, but it's a partial eclipse. It let us see the luminous crown of the sun encircling the black disk of the moon. The process that led to the today eclipse of the church began with the modernism, without a doubt. The anti-church follow its orbit despite the solemn condemnations of the Magisterium, which in that phase shone with the splendor of truth. But with the Second Vatican Council, the darkness of this spurious entity came over the Church. Let us join with little ones in the Black Rosary Children imploring the woman clothed with the sun that the reign of Our Lady and Mother may be restored.
and the eclipse that afflicts us shorten it. May God bless this holy intention.